So normally when you are running to like Facebook and, and Google, Bing, Yahoo to do all of your advertisements, I could almost guarantee you 95% of you are going to get your pixel. Hopefully you are. You're going to get your pixel to put it on your website so you could accumulate that data and then retarget whoever you cookied. The unfortunate part of that whole process is what happens at the end. You only have about 500 days till that cookie runs out and you have to repeat everything you just did all over again. With IP targeting, this is all gonna change. This is gonna change dramatically. If you're just watching this video live for the first time, my name is Guillermo Mata. I'm the CEO of Red Torn Media LLC. I welcome you. Thank you so much for coming out to this video live. Thank you for taking time out of your day. I always enjoy hearing from you. If you're a subscriber of my community, you're just coming off an email, however you found me, definitely make sure to like that button. I always appreciate that here. And drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on IP targeting. Are you currently doing this in your business right now? Uh, just let me know, okay? So IP targeting has been around apparently for some time, but it's been, it's, 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 this is more like a hidden technology, okay? This is not some type of a hack, quote unquote. This is something that a lot of mega companies are actually doing out there. And I'll just show you a bunch of them, actually two of them today on this presentation, on this short video, lot, quote unquote. So I'll just start with this one, uh, Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz is actually doing this successfully. Um, how they're doing it is whenever someone comes to their location, let's say to do maintenance, or maybe they're on the sales floor, but they find themselves on, the, on their phone, they will run ads to that phone through IP targeting. I'm gonna explain all of this on our presentation. I know it's a lot, because the, the whole thing with this is that you know, to the general eye, general marketer out there, mainstream marketing, a majority of the time they're talking Google, Facebook, and how you should set a budget and things like that. And like, you're gonna see in my presentation, I, I've dealt with Google on, on multiple occasions. I've dealt with Yahoo, Bing, and they all work the same exact way. You get a cookie, you put it on your site, you accumulate it for a certain amount of days till it officially runs out. Runs out. They only allow you to hold that cookie for up to 500 days. With IP targeting, it's a different ballgame. If you came to my website, I now have your IP through our new platform. I'm going to break that down a little later. But I now have your IP. So it does not mean that I could spam you. It just means that whenever you go to CNN, maybe you go to entrepreneur.com, uh, maybe you downloaded the Weather Channel app, I will show you my ads to you eventually end up buying my services. So in just a couple of days, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this so that you can help your clients and they're like never before. This is game changing stuff. This is stuff that not a lot of people like to talk about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you another company that's doing this as well. Um, there's a whole bunch of them out there, okay? But um, it's, it's just, again, not a lot of people like to talk about this publicly. The NFL, they do this a lot. You go to the NFL website, I promise you, when you go into the Weather Channel, you go into all these other places, you'll keep seeing their ads repetitively. You'll even get pop-ups, notifications on your phones, and you'll just ask yourself, man, I never signed up for this. But you actually did. When you came to the website, you agreed to their terms and conditions. And I'm going to dive into this a little more um, in our presentation coming up soon. Uh, we're gonna be hosting a webinar on a new platform that we're releasing. This is not gonna go public. It can't go public, and I'll explain that a little later. Um, but let's talk a little bit more. Let's talk technical, right? Every household has one of these, right? Every business has one of these. You go to the cafe to do some work. You go to the you know, co-working space. You're logging into their IP. Every, and let me clarify, your IP is not provided by your computer or by your modem. It's provided by the network. The only time that that IP changes is when they decide, all right, we don't want Optimum anymore. We want Time Warner. 
and that usually happens over the course of several years, but that's fine. I would choose several years over 500 days. You know what I mean? So again, when you have access to that IP, you can keep serving ads to people with that IP. So look, I'll give you a good example, right? Let's say you're at a, at a cafe. I'm doing the marketing for that cafe. There's about, I want to say 60 people in that cafe, eating, drinking, listening to music, working, right? Through my platform, I can take all those IPs, right? And I could start running ads to you once you visited the site. You know, I could set it up where, you know, we'll have one main screen open, which is the actual cafe website. So we got your IP collected and then I'll start running ads to you till you eventually leave. Okay. But when you come back, you're going to see those same ads again, right? So this is how the big guys are doing it. NFL, um, I'll just give you another one, Virginia Tech. This is a university, okay? This is a university I'm talking about here. Schools are even doing this. Nonprofits are doing this. This is a big deal. Um, so I got a couple other screenshots I wanna share with you. Uh, let's give me one little second here. But again, talking more in depth about you know IP targeting, this is something that, again, to the public eye, it's not spoken of a lot about. Here's the process here. Here's how it all works, right? So you have your IP addresses all locked in, just like you see here. Locate the address or the, through the IP, we're capable of locking in the address to that location, the household, and we serve them display ads. That's as simple as it is, right? So it's like the easiest way to collect leads, the easiest way to get your advertisements in front of that ideal prospect or even your current clients, if you want to just bring them back, you could just keep running display ads, right? To the point where they're gonna end up calling you. I know a lot of you that are watching this video live are doing paper call offers for local business owners. So I want you to think about that for a minute, right? Think about the amount of calls that this can generate you, okay? This is a big deal, folks. This is a big deal, again, and I'm not talking all this hype here. In mainstream marketing, they don't talk about this. They don't do no talking about this because they just want you to go to Facebook and Google and Yahoo. That's it. And I'm guilty of it because I did it myself, spending thousands of dollars waiting for Google to max out my budget and over deliver my ads. Google can spend up to 30 days, 30 days worth your ad budget. So if you have an ad budget that's 500 bucks, they could spend that up to 30 days. Look, I talk about this all and more in our upcoming webinar. There's no link down below, but next week I'm going to drop the link on the same video. So definitely make sure to bookmark this video or tap the notifications. I may upload another video on Monday with the webinar link and all of these details. We have an incredible platform coming up. Um, I don't want you to miss out. This is going to be huge. I don't intend on going public with this. This is only for those of you who have been dedicated on my list supporting us, uh, supporting the Red Tour Media community. This is only for you guys. Just like our last three platforms, all right? Nobody, nobody knows about them. Nobody knows about them. The only people who know about these platforms is you, all right? So with that being said, thank you so much for coming out to this video live. I hope you got some little gems out of it. I hope you're excited for this. If you are excited for it, for the platform, let me know down in the comments. Drop a comment down below. The more comments, the more likes that I see, the more I can keep the updates coming pertaining to this topic. So with that being said, thank you so much for coming to this video. My name is Guillermo Mata, as always, speak to you soon.